So I heard you have some questions for me. Welcome back to Envelope Do Miniatures. My name is Dietz and let's cut straight to the chase. I get asked a fair few questions from time to time. The number one question being, what paintbrushes do I use? And I'll probably answer that towards the end of the video. So I thought it was about time we all sit down and I let you guys grill me. So today's the day you're going to get all the answers to the questions that have been gnawing at your brain about my hobbying life, my personal life, and I suppose what's next on the channel. And also who my mortal enemy is, but no one really asked me that. So you guys missed out on a good one there. Now just a quick FYI, I'm probably not going to be able to answer answer all the questions because I did get more than I was expecting. I put up a poll on Instagram and I also asked on YouTube as well. So I will combine some questions because there were a few similar. But anyway, let's get straight into it. Okay, so first question. What do you think about the grim dark painting style? Good question. See, I like all painting styles. I don't really think there's like one for everyone. Everyone will approach the hobby differently and have like a different vision in their brain of you know what the story is to them uh, what you know what the hobby means to them all these different things so I do really like the grimdark painting style for me I like popping colors and I like seeing myself from a distance really vibrant okay so moving on what's your favorite and least favorite faction to paint this might surprise everyone but my least favorite faction to paint is actually the high elves now I know I know I love them so much they look so good but man, white and blue and gold and silver, all the true metallic metals that I put on it are just a nightmare. It actually takes me the longest out of any miniatures to paint. Every time I paint one, the time just seems to slip away and I spent way too long on them. So I really do love them. They're one of my favorite armies, pretty much if not my favorite army, but man, I really don't like painting them that much. Don't tell anyone. And my favorite faction to paint, well, I haven't painted every single one, but I painted a fair few and probably Chaos Dwarfs are, are up there for me. And I also like painting green skins. They're actually a lot of fun. Okay, so the next question is actually two questions. Why North Queensland and what's my actual job? Well, North Queensland, if you guys don't know, is, well, Queensland's a state in Australia and I live in North Queensland. So right up, right in the thick of the jungle and the heat, uh, in the tropics and the reason why I live up here is because well I wasn't born up here but I was kind of raised up here I did move away after I finished university to go and work down in the big smoke and after doing about eight nine years there it just wasn't for me anymore I really did miss home I actually like quieter places smaller places if that makes any sense the cities don't do it for me I like seeing the birds the trees all those sorts of things and what's my actual day job I'm actually a contractor um, I do a bit of art direction, uh, graphic design, and also do a bit of work for my brother-in-law in his aluminium workshop, so get on the tools every now and then as well and get a bit dirty. Okay, so next question is, what drew you to coming back to painting Warhammer and what drives you to keep making content? <sighs> I think it's like you hit 30 and then you have this little mini midlife crisis and you start to look back in your past and you remember all the things that you loved and made you happy, and Warhammer was one of them from when I was a kid. So. I jump straight back in. And also with painting miniatures and I guess the lore and the game and all that side of things of Warhammer and miniature gaming is there's just this deep pool of stuff to get involved with and that can kind of bring you joy. And what drives me to keep making content? I guess it's you guys. I really do love, you know, painting miniature people and people getting some joy out of it. So that's probably one of the big things for me. All right, next one is from Ratboy Minis. Are you coming to Dungeon Fest? And should we make a category for the painting comp, the Anvil of Doom category pre-1996 GW? Unfortunately, I won't be able to go to the Dungeon Fest because I live on the opposite side of the world. Um, I'm pretty sure it's in Canada somewhere, maybe Alberta, Canada. So if you're into Mordheim, go check out this event. It's called Dungeon Fest. Uh, Ratboy Minis on Instagram has more information about it. But yeah, if you're in North America or anywhere in the world and you want to head to this event, it looks pretty cool. I would love to go, but yeah, definitely go check that out. And of course, there should be a category for Anvil of Doom in the painting competition. How many seven-year-olds could you fight at once in unarmed combat? Have you ever seen that movie, The One, uh, with Jet Li? The very end scene, he's like fighting a million people in this prison. I feel like that's what that's what it would look like if I had to fight a bunch of seven-year-olds. So probably an unlimited amount of number. I reckon I could take a few. Do you cry every night that Chaos Dwarfs aren't supported in the old world or just most nights? Most nights. When are you painting some Mordheim? I really, really want to paint Mordheim, but they are so hard to find. I actually want to paint a warband eventually for it. Here's a fun story. 
I went to the movies a few weeks ago and as I was sitting at the front, I was looking on eBay before I went into the movie. I was looking on eBay and um, there was a full dwarf warband, like the original warband from Mordheim. And I saw it and I had to go into the cinema and I was like, okay, I'll, I'll come back and I'll get my hands on it. And it literally sold so fast, it was gone. So I missed out on that. But I do want to paint more Mordheim for the channel. So stay tuned. I'm going to hunt some down definitely. It's on pretty much the top of my priority list is Mordheim. I remember reading all the Town Crier articles in White Dwarf when I was younger and I love it. I love the aesthetic. I love everything about it. So stay tuned for that. What do you smell like? I'll ask my missus. Tam, what do I smell like? She said I smell really good. What is the process for deciding what colors to use to get a bold miniature and how do you decide what color follows after layering for highlighting? Good question. Geez, got me, put me on the spot. I feel like I had a lot of trial and error to where I kind of got to right now. And I suppose that's with like everyone painting as a lot of trial and error and trying different things. So experimenting with a lot of different types of paints um, is probably the best way to do it. But what I find and what I've kind of realized is, is that I always kind of start with like a mid-tone color for my base color, if that makes sense. I don't go really dark. I kind of get that middle ground and then I kind of highlight from there. So I hope that kind of helps. And also for choosing like what colors kind of come next when you're highlighting, uh, if you walk into your game store, they on the painting rack, sometimes the paints are kind of all lined up and you can kind of get a visual and see, you know, what color kind of goes next and what color kind of goes well together with the next one. So yeah, try that. Um, but anyway, it's kind of like trial and error. And for some weird reason, everyone kept asking me skateboarding questions. I don't know why. And I actually did like skateboarding a lot when I was younger. Uh, so it's kind of weird. How'd you guys know? How did you know? Who's your favorite skateboarder? Well, I'm kind of old school, so I like Rodney Mullen. He's pretty cool. I like all his little weird tricks that he does on the ground. And um, a similar question, what would be your Warhammer Fantasy inspired skating name? Grom the Ponch. Grom the Ponch. Grom the Ponch, yeah, definitely Grom the Ponch. How long does it actually take you to paint what you're showing us? It really varies, but man, it takes me hours. I can spend a really long time on some minis. The ones I'm working on in the next few videos are gonna be a lot longer as well because I've got Olden Demon coming up and I'm gonna be spending a couple weeks on each mini. So it really depends. Um, the larger minis obviously take a lot longer, but I do find batch painting takes me the longest. So for one mini, probably like 15 hours. And then when I'm doing batch paints, I kind of lose track of time. And the whole process of creating videos for it as well, like editing and all that stuff, it's kind of blown. It's kind of, yeah, it's it's a lot. So it does take a lot of effort. I think a lot of people don't realize that YouTube does take a, a lot of effort, especially when you have a day job as well. But I love doing it. So, you know, I can't complain. All right, next question. How the hell are you finding these models in Australia? I'm in New Zealand and I can't find anything, lol. Well, I'm pretty quick on Marketplace and eBay. So you're just gonna have to sit there and monitor it while you work or something like that. That's what I do. How does one acquire such a magnificent mustache? Maybe I'm born with it, maybe it's Maybelline. Just look after the upper lip, you know, that's the, the it's the my pride and joy really. And I'm glad you like it. <laughs> Any Blood Bowl on the cards would love to see you paint a Chorf team. I would love to paint a Chorf team. And yes, there is probably gonna be some Blood Bowl on the channel very soon. So stay tuned for that. Who got you into the hobby? Well, that would be the kid who lived up the street from me years ago named Paul, him and his lizard men and his mate who had Empire. And that's where it kind of all started and started my addiction to buying White Dwarf magazines and then I guess getting the odd mini here and there. So Paul, good on you, Paul, wherever you are. What is the thing you love most about miniature painting? Do you think it's an escape from reality? I think the thing I like most about miniature painting is like the end product and just seeing, you know, your growth and how far you get. Um, I really do sit there for a little while and kind of look at my models after I finish and think about what I could do better. But yeah, it's kind of an escape from reality, I guess. I, when I'm painting, I put on a bit of music, relax. I do find it's just a good way to end the day, just doing a little bit of painting. So yeah, definitely. Did you ever get that Dita Hellsnitch model? I actually did, one sec. Here he is. What's the largest live animal you think you could successfully duct tape to a lamppost? Ah, this big chubber, this old girl. I definitely think I could duct tape her to a post. Go on, scan. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> How do you overcome painter's block? I find that doing some exercise really helps with painter's block. I don't know, I like just to kind of clear the minds and just do a bit of exercise. And also I like to put my miniatures out while I'm painting them to kind of 
egg me on. I'm looking at them all the time and they're kind of staring at me saying, paint me. So that's a pretty good way to get kind of motivated as well. But also taking a look online, you know, jumping on Instagram, I tend to do this a lot and just take a look at other painters and just kind of being in the hobby. Don't put too much pressure on yourself if you have painter's block, you know, go live your life and go for a walk, go get out there, go get a coffee, take it easy for a few weeks and then get back to it. So that's the, probably the big thing. Definitely don't put pressure on yourself about painting. It'll it'll all come back. If you really love it, it'll always come back. You get that passion back, so yeah. If you would rank the greatest model design in the 1990s, what would it be? <sighs> Tough question, because there's so many. The first one that springs to mind is probably the War Dancer by Jez Goodwood, and I painted that one for the Olden Demon last year. I really do love that miniature. It's like really iconic, just like the silhouette of it and everything like that. So I'll probably have to have more of a think about it, but there's so, so many. And also I think maybe the High Elf Pegasus, you don't really think about it that much, but it's a miniature I really love too. I kind of look at that all the time and go, mm, that's peak High Elves and peak High Elves for me, like fourth edition is like peak Warhammer. If you could collaborate with any creators, who would they be? Jeez, tough one. Well, I'm collaborating with someone very, very soon, so stay tuned for that. And they're someone I really respect and admire, so I'm collaborating with him very soon. So you'll probably see a video coming up of that. Um, I like a lot of content creators out there. You know, it's kind of weird because I'm, I'm, I'm in Australia, so I feel like I'm kind of siloed. I'm on the opposite side of the world, so, and I'm kind of into like, you know, Warhammer Fantasy, Old World, and stuff like that. So it's not really like what everyone else is into, but I really do like Eric's Hobby Workshop. Um, oh, who else is there? Jordan Sorcery is good. Yeah, look, I'll, I, I couldn't really choose. Any advice for painting metal miniatures? Just don't touch them when you start painting them because you'll chip the paint off. Just literally, the only thing that touches the metal miniature is the paintbrush, and that's the golden rule I live by. Is there a mini so rare that you probably won't get it that you really want? I really do love the older Chaos Dragon. It's definitely up there. I love that miniature, and it's really hard to get. So, that guy. What are the chances of you doing a 24 hour start collecting box painting challenge? Pretty low because I don't think I'd last 24 hours. And as I said before, I like spending way too long on my miniatures. So, you know, it's something I might do one day. If I went full time in YouTube, maybe, I don't know, man. That's, that's a tough one because I really do like painting things thoroughly. And when I want to have them on the tabletop, I want to have them like finished like to my best of my ability and I feel like if I was going to do a 24-hour painting challenge I'd kind of cut too many corners and I know a lot of people want to see uh, other things you know different painting styles and stuff like that but I'm really into my old hammer painting style which does take a little bit longer than everything else so yeah but you never know I might do it I think I've got a bunch of scave in here which I could probably do a lot in 24 hours so stay tuned what are your thoughts on the end times they never happened in my mind, it never happened. Because when I walked into the Warhammer shop and I just saw Age of Sigma stuff everywhere, I'm like, where's the Warhammer Fantasy? And the and the manager couldn't explain to me what happened. It just doesn't exist to me, so. But you know what? Old World's on the rise and I'm really excited about it. What's your least favorite army? Oh, least favorite army. Okay, don't get offended. Um, my least favorite army in Warhammer Fantasy and Old World it's probably Ogre Kingdoms. Like, I do love them. There are a few models I really love. I think it's like two or three miniatures I like absolutely adore out of their range, but they don't really do it for me. But don't get offended if you're an Ogre Kingdoms player or an Ogres player, whatever. It's just because there's not as many miniatures, I think, that I really like compared to other factions. Why haven't you painted up Skaven? I actually have. I painted a Screaming Bell. Go check the video out. It's on the channel. But I'm going to paint some more up very soon. I've actually got this guy here. I'm very excited to paint this one up, so... Yes, I do have some Skaven on the way. Why haven't you painted up some Horus Heresy? Um, good question. Horus Heresy is pretty cool. I like listening to the lore about it and stuff like that. But um, the miniatures really, you know, they're good. They're like, there's nice miniatures, but I'm more into the fantasy. Ugh, sorry, the memory card ran out of space, so. Let's get back into it. Okay, so the next one is more a statement, more than a question, and it is, come to Nottingham to hang out from Film Deg Miniatures. Uh, he's got his own YouTube channel, so make sure you check that out. But yes, one day I would love to. I'd love to go to Boyle. I reckon that'd be so much fun. What paintbrushes do you use? This is the question I get asked more than anything else. And today you're gonna find out. I use a lot of paintbrushes. I use a lot of different paintbrushes, but my go-to paintbrushes are 
This one here, this is the precise detail brush by the Army Painter. And I do that for my highlights and my eyes and all that stuff like that. I also use this guy here, which is a Raphael Kalinsky Sable. Um, what size is this? I'm not sure what size it is. I'm pretty sure it's a size one, but it's a pretty good brush as well. And I also use really cheap and nasty brushes from like hobby shops and stuff like that. Like no name brands ones and stuff like that. Just some size ones, uh, some triple zeros and, and triple double zeros. So yeah, just a bunch of random brushes. And these ones aren't that good, but they do have a really sharp point on them when I first have them. So, you know, I can use that sharp point for like little eyeballs and all sorts of different stuff so those are my two main brushes and i use a bunch of cheapies as well okay so next question what will you be painting for old and demon and why is it score the falconer Ugh. i do have a score the falconer mini but i don't think i'm going to be painting it for old and demon this year i've got something else which i'll show uh, very very soon to you all which I'll be painting for old and demon i do love score the falconer it's one of my favorite miniatures as well it's like so iconic but I probably won't be painting it for Old and Demon, so sorry about that. But I want to do a video on it because he deserves his very own video. So yeah, stick around for that. Favorite Warhammer Dragon and why? I've got like a three-way tie and I own two of them. This guy here, Zacharias the Everliving on his Zombie Dragon is one of my all-time favorite miniatures and I finally got it and I'm really excited to paint it as well. And I also love the Prince Imric High Elf Dragon, the newer one. I'm not sure what edition it is. Um, and also I love the Wood Elf Forest Dragon, which I still can't find anywhere, but I will find it one day. If you could make a new Warhammer fantasy faction, what would it be? I, I really love the I really love the lore already that's kind of established with it, uh, with Warhammer Fantasy and Warhammer the Old World. I've been watching so much of the show called Shogun lately. I don't know if you guys have been watching that as well. And I really do love the samurai. So I think like Nippon, the, I know they already exist uh, within the Warhammer fantasy world and i think nippon would be a pretty cool faction to come up with i would love to paint some old samurai and i think gw had some like old sculpts which they did maybe in like the 80s and early 90s i think of some nippon guys i'm not too sure i have to check it out i think i've seen them in the past but that would be an awesome faction i'd love to paint some samurai and do some stuff like that i think it'd be really cool and maybe mix in some um a bit of uh, mythology, Japanese mythology in there too. I reckon that'd be really awesome. The next question I got a fair bit and is what's your favorite Space Marine chapter? And for pure aesthetics and looks, I really do love Legion of the Damned and I painted that miniature up for the channel uh, with this Darren Latham painting challenge. And I really love doing freehand, so that chapter is pretty cool for me, but stuff making a whole army and doing all that that'd just be way too much effort and surprisingly i also love the crimson fist as well i really like their lore and i painted one of those up for my patreon channel as well what's the best pub feed item i haven't been to the pub in a while but it's probably a palmy i've been back in the hobby for a while now and taking classes but i'm still not seeing any improvement in my skills any advice for changing things up and progressing good question so for me, I found the, the, the way I kind of advanced, and I can only speak for myself here, was by having a variety of different things to paint. Now, it really helps because I love Warhammer Fantasy as a whole. I love pretty much every single faction, including Ogres. I love every single one. Um, so I kind of like to jump around and paint different things. And in doing that, I'm painting different colors. I'm trying to do different techniques, um, but I'm still kind of doing my core things like learning how to glaze and learning how to do highlights and stuff like that properly. So I do find that jumping around from different miniatures and not focusing on one army um, really does kind of help give you some progression there. But also it comes down to repetition and being open to learning from others. I really do like asking questions. I do ask a lot of different painters some questions from time to time. If you approach people nicely um, on social media, and just be open and be like, hey, how you going? Um, not just go, don't, not just cut straight to the point, but just asking for advice. Pretty much every single painter I know that I talk to and that I communicate with would be more than willing to chat to you and help you kind of get through those sorts of things and those hurdles. It's basically miniature painting is like a bunch of aha moments. It's kind of like 
understanding how the paint works and all those things. For me as well, another thing what I would do is probably learn how to glaze. I find that glazing and just doing variations of colors kind of on flat surfaces really brings miniatures to life a bit more than just the, the old edge highlights. Um, so that was kind of my priority when I first started, but definitely mix it up, try painting different things, ask questions and talk to people. Also, as I said in a previous video, like ages ago, um, jump on YouTube as well. There's so many tutorials out there and like way better tutorials than what I'm doing. Keep going, man, I believe in you. And if you ever have any questions, hit me up. I'll definitely try to give you some advice the best that I can. All right, on the home straight now, only a few more questions to go. So would you consider doing retro terrain? Yes, I would. It's something I really wanna do on the channel. I actually was thinking about when I finished painting one of my armies, probably my chalf army, doing like an armies on parade and trying to recreate a classic white dwarf photo. So let me know down in the comments if that's something you'd like to see because I reckon that'd be pretty fun to do. When are you going to paint more 40K? I'm gonna paint some more 40K very soon. I am a Warhammer fantasy boy as you guys all know, but I do like Warhammer 40K. I love the lore and stuff like that. And Olden Demon is coming up and there's two categories this year. There's a science fiction future category and then there's a fantasy category and I want to enter both. So I probably will make a video on 40K mini. I'm kind of stumped in what miniature I want to choose for that category, for the 40K category. I've already decided what I'm painting for the fantasy. So you'll probably see that coming up very soon. I'm thinking maybe an old school Space Wolf or something. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments what you guys would like to see me paint for the 40k uh, section of Olden Demon. I'd love to know. So give me some ideas, please. I need your help. I really need your help. Okay, so last question. Let's wrap this up. If you could old hammerify any modern GW Mini, what would it be? Man, pretty stumped on this one. What I would love to see are squats, like the modern squats that we have in poses and kind of like the same look to the 90 space marines if that makes any sense i know there's older squats you know the original og ones from like the late 80s and maybe early 90s or wherever they whenever they're from correct me if i'm wrong but i'd love to see them what they would look like in a mono pose like with the modern armor in a mono pose uh kind of 90 space marine type of look i'd love to see that if that makes any sense if that answers your question i think that would look really cool maybe that's something i could draw up or something like that i don't know but that's that's probably what i would like to see that's pretty much it there are a bunch more questions so i'm very sorry if i didn't answer them maybe we could make a video again like this in the future with some more questions but anyway my dudes if you like this video please hit the like button and if you're new here maybe hit the subscribe button i've got a bunch of warhammer fantasy kind of old world videos for you to kind of sink your teeth into and also i want to say a massive thank you to all my patreons i really appreciate the support and we've also got a little olden demon competition running in the discord now i'm trying to get everyone to paint up a miniature for olden demon because that's up around the corner so if you want to join the patreon link is in the bio i'd love to see you there and that's pretty much it my dudes be kind to one another thanks for all the questions and i'll see you all next time cheers